This was the week where Twitter and Facebook decided they would finally boot their golden goose, Donald Trump, off their platform in a permanent suspension for, as they say, inciting and celebrating violence. Now? Now. Now inciting violence? Like, look, I'm all for it, but this definitely feels a little bit like when the Allies finally joined World War II. Like, you know, thanks, guys, but we really, we could have used you back there, you know? Um, Trump has tried to get back onto Twitter by using other social media handles, other Twitter handles in the online version of like putting uh, on Groucho Marx glasses and just calling yourself, you know, uh, my name is uh, Ronald Rumpf. I don't know why it's like a dog. Um, <laughs> that, that also sounded like a really racist, like wannabe Chinese accent. I don't know why. Anyway, point is... <laughs> There are also many people online who are trying to shroud their low key defense of fascism in the language of free speech. You know, like, do you guys realize he's still the president for right now? And he's also like a massive celebrity. Like he could give a press conference right now. Fox News would be happy to hear him ramble on for hours. Like, I'm pretty sure we don't need to be defending free speech rights of people who don't believe in human rights. Let's just, let's get there. Um, finally, a lot of people saying that this will beef up the surveillance state and it'll be used to surveil the left. I'm pretty sure it's too late, bruh. Like, I don't know if you've been paying attention, uh, but the problem in surveillance is the application. Like, if the surveillance state actually worked to s help us, the FBI would have had files on the thugs who broke into the Capitol instead of files on the raging grannies, the grandmothers who sing folk songs against the war. I'm not joking. They have an FBI file. Like, that whole... That whole argument is totally bogus to me. NATO, you missing Donald Trump? Uh, you know, it feels like like like. Uh, do you ever have that thing happen where like there's a buzzing sound and it's just, and like and then suddenly the sound goes off and you realize how quiet <laughs> it is, and you're like, oh man, this is nice, and it's and it's it it's like that right now on Twitter, except yeah. without with fewer Nazis threatening to murder me. You're like, what was that? Oh, oh. I really. <laughs> oh. Are there fewer Nazis threatening to uh, murder you, NATO? Yeah, there's been a noticeable drop up, drop off in the number of Nazis threatening to murder me on on Twitter lately. It's oh, pretty that's great. why I lost so many followers. Oh, you? They were following you as the Nazis who want to murder me. You know, sometimes you gotta hire some bots just mm -hmm. in case you get up at NATO Green. Um, no, it's it's very funny to see people telling on themselves when like there's this giant sweep of Nazis and bots off Twitter and people are like, I lost, I'm losing a thousand followers a, a minute. And you're like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah.